Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Green Lamb. Hey guys, um... So if you saw my clip earlier, it looked like daytime, but now it is nighttime. I had all the intention of posting a video today because it is a snow day for me. So I don't have school today. Um, and yeah, I was going to post a video of this review um, Friday, which was my snow day, but it's probably going to be Saturday now because my camera died and it takes like 8 hours to charge. So I'm now filming at 6.32 and I'm just too tired to put it out tonight. So... Tomorrow morning it will be, and I'll po probably have another review this weekend, but don't, I'm not, like, don't quote me on that. So, if you look at, if you, well, obviously if you click this, um, you know from the title, I have a book review for you guys on Beautiful Chaos by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, and this is the third book of the Castor Chronicles, and it's sequels to, it's, um, the sequel to Beautiful Creatures and Beautiful Darkness. So, before I get into this, if you have not read Beautiful Creatures, the first book, and Beautiful Darkness, the second book, do not watch this come back after you've read them because there will contain spoilers from those two. There will be no spoilers on Beautiful Chaos. I'm not going to spoil this one, but there are going to be spoilers from the first two. And, yeah, so that's basically it. So, if I'm looking down or over, I'm looking at my agenda. And in case you haven't watched my videos before, or just to refresh your memory, I rate my books in five different categories. Sorry, my hair's really bothering me though, that's why I keep twitching my neck. Never mind. <laughs> um, I rate my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall. Um, in terms of reading again, very soon, five to five, not so soon, one out of five. So, before I get started, I'm going to give you a brief, no spoilers, synopsis of Beautiful Chaos. So basically in Beautiful Chaos, we have Ethan, Wayne, and Lena, Duke Keynes, they're back again. And in Gatlin, weird things are going on, um, and Miss Lincoln's calling it an apocalypse. So, and basically, yes, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not going to say anything. Um, so everybody's affected by this, even Lena's family, and their abilities begin to go crazy. Um, and somebody needs to be sacrificed to save the town of Gatlin. So... Yes, and it says at the bottom, the last, like, two sentences are, sometimes there's no going back, and this time there won't be a happy ending. So that's really intense, and in the back of this book, I don't know if you can see this, but I ha it has a special bonus story inside called Dream Dark, and it's basically um, Link's story, because he's gone through a lot of changes within the book. So, plot. I give it a 5 out of 5. I absolutely love the plot. The last two Beautiful Creatures books have gotten 100% for me. This book, let's see if it'll do the same. So 5 out of 5. I absolutely love the plot. I love the plot of these books. I didn't know I'd get so emotionally, like, connected to these books and so, like, gripped. Like, I feel like when this series ends, I, my whole world will be shattered. I didn't think I'd love it as much as I do, and I say that every time, but I honestly didn't. I thought I wouldn't like it as much. I thought it'd be, like, kind of like a Twilighty book. Like, I just put on the shelf and try to remember I did not read that. Or try to, like, stay away from the hype. But I'm loving the hype, and I'm loving these books. And the plot was good. Like, I find all these plots are very rich with stuff. Like, you think, like, after you read the book, you're like, what else can the authors throw at you? But they just throw so much more at you, and you're like, oh my gosh, like, thank you for this. And the short story is really good, too. It's 40 pages, I think. 40, 41. And it's really good, too. Like... It's, they have really good writing these offers and you don't need like I think when I'm reading it that's only co-offered by well not co-offered it's only wrote by one author but it's actually two and their writing is so seamlessly fit together I don't know how they did it but like, like it's just like it's like one person one mind characters I give a five to five I absolutely love the characters I love how all the old characters the sisters Emma um, the dad, Lena, Ethan, Link, like they're all coming more and more into the story. And especially now that Riley's immortal, she's more in the story. And you get to see characters like live again. So I'm happy all these characters are coming back. They're not being pushed to the side. I love seeing how the minor characters as well as the major characters develop. And I'm like, like at first I read the book, the first book, and Link wasn't my favorite character because like he was 
not like I I don't know, the first book, like the, at least the first half of the first book, I didn't really like Link. I wasn't sure where to place him. But now, like, he's grown so much, and he's grown to be, like, one of my favorite characters of the books. And, like, I like a lot of them. Like, sometimes you don't like a character at first, but they've actually grown on me, and I love every single character in this book. I think they all have great personalities, and they all add something different to the book. Cover, I give a 4 to 5. Um, this is not my favorite cover of the series. Maybe, my, maybe if I had the first, the second book, like, a paperback as well, so they look like this, but I have like an older print, I think, of the paperback. Because, yeah, because it's different than the ones on the back. So they don't all match up, and this is kind of like it's a duller, duller yellow than what it looks like online and stuff. So, yeah. And also, I don't like the gate in the background. Like, I get the gate part, but, yeah, it's my least favorite cover out of all three of them. I just like the simpli simplicity of the black and that, black and, like, the writing. But this is just a comparison between the others. If this was the only way they were done, I bet I would love them just as much. So, Suspense, I give it a 5 out of 5. I absolutely love this book. And it took me so long to post this review. I actually finished this, like, February, like, right before February 1st. But it's taken me forever to put up. And I'm currently reading Beautiful Redemption, the last one. And i got to get scurrying on that one because, yeah, I have to get on to Wither by Lauren Day Stefano. So I'm at least reading two books this month because it's been bit hectic and I need to read six. So hopefully I can do that for you guys. And overall, I give this a 5 to 5. I, like, constantly find myself flipping through trying to, like, see stuff that I might have missed or remembering what happened because these books are so big and they have so much quantity in them and, like, of information and facts and all that and story. Yeah, and I found this book had a lot of cute moments between the characters and I brought something new to the table and I can't wait to see what the authors are going to do with the conclusion of the series. And I hope it lives up to all three of the first books in the Castor Chronicles. And yeah, this book got a 24 out of 25, very close to Beautiful Creatures and Beautiful Darkness, so we'll have to see where it matches up. So that was my review on Beautiful Chaos by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Um, up next will be my review on Beautiful Redemption, if not another video. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the next one, though. And I'd like to say hi to all new, my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, all my subscribers. And also I'd like to know, did you read the Castor Chronicles, or are you reading this book? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Tell me what you think down below in the comments, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.